Where does safety begin? For years, the answer has been better warnings, better training, better personal protective equipment. But what if safety begins before any of these things? What if we discovered that so many catastrophic events were not a product of human error, but of an adequate design? For so long, occupational safety and engineering have been two separate disciplines. But the fact is, safety begins with engineering, with designing away environments that are prone to error. So what if we could build a bridge between these schools of thought? What if these two disciplines were no longer silos unto themselves, but a holistic approach to creating a safer environment and preventing danger? What if we could find a better way? The genesis of this program really came from real-world experiences. We see that in the workplaces, injuries are not going down, particularly the really severe injuries. And so the question came, why not? Because most companies are very involved with training and warnings and what's called protective equipment, personal protective equipment. And the bottom line is that's not enough. And I have been involved in investigating a lot of very serious injuries in the workplace and in motor vehicle crashes. And I realized that the way to really reverse that trend was to teach people how to prevent those from ever occurring. And that requires safety professionals to talk to engineers, and engineers have to talk to safety professionals. And so this graduate program was designed specifically for working full-time professionals. We devised the program around a central message of prevention through design. That means that before you ever get to the need for warnings and training, you start at the initial concept phase. And so safety professionals have to be able to sit down with the design engineers and guide them on what is a safe design. And so often we have what's called error provocative environments. And what that means is, instead of blaming people for making mistakes, you look at the environment and see if in fact you could have guessed that someone was going to make a mistake. And if that's the case, then you can design that away. Do you fix the employee or do you fix the system? The employee's gonna make errors going to get hurt. Can you engineer out the hazards? It's a very different way of thinking about safety. You know, in the past it was behavioral-based safety. 40 to 50 percent of all the accidents that my organization has experienced in the last 24 years have been sprains and strains, and nobody's dying from sprains and strains. But how do you focus on the prevention of serious injuries and fatalities, catastrophes. And that's what intrigued me about this program is it's prevention through design, you know, preventing the hazard in the design phase. After working in safety 24 years, I have a CSP. Uh, I earned my CSP, Certified Safety Professional designation in 1995. And I thought I knew just about everything. And getting in the ASEM program at UAB, I learned that I did not know everything. And uh, the employees will benefit from the new knowledge that I have gained. And I've done it all totally online. When I first heard about the program, here was the deal. I uh, already had a master's degree. And I got a notice from American Society of Safety Engineers, local chapter, and I was a member of, and said, this program is going to start. And it was just a notice. So Dr. Baidez was one of the speakers before the program started as she was accepting applications. So I wanted to go hear about it. And I, so I, I, I checked online and got all the information on the curriculum. And I went to hear Dr. Baidez speak. And I came home and I said, this is the first academic curriculum that I've seen that does what it needs to do to prepare you better for a job. So it was everything I said, you know, I've got to do it. I've got to do it because I think I can be better at what I do. So I said, how can you not take advantage of a program like this? My employers supported me through it the entire way so I could be a better employee for them. People think online program is an easy way. 
and you really don't have contact with your professors or your fellow students. And I'm sure there's some online programs that are that way, not at UAB. Because of the discussion board we do every week, peer-to-peer -peer learning, and every week we have a webcam, we know each other. We have literally met each other on the webcams. And I thought the online was really good. Um, you have to be prepared for it, but very impressive, very impressive. Another part of the program that I think is terrific is that it's very flexible for this, to fit the schedule of, of a working professional. Um, the courses, you're uh, required to show up on Sundays for the classes, but the lectures you can listen to at times that are convenient for you. And the same with the, the projects and the discussion board postings, the, the other things that you work on throughout the program you don't have to show up in a classroom to do that. One of the things that this program did for me was to connect me to some amazing uh, professionals in the safety field. And they're professionals not just in the, the industry that I'm in, but uh, in a diverse uh, range of organizations, from uh, the military to mining to uh, government, people work in uh, different countries even. So it, the program actually connected me to people across the country and in other countries, and I thought that was terrific. Gave some insight and some into other approaches to safety. I feel pretty honored to be part of the first graduating class in this program, and I think it's the wave of the future. I work at another college in the United States, and I think that, honestly, that colleges that don't start offering courses this way are going to lose a lot of students. I will recommend it highly to someone who is trying to pursue a career in this area because um, it helps you cut across all the safety fields. Yeah, it doesn't limit you. By the way, I had, I had a master's before and I'm having this as an add-on master's, for, you know. So um, I've seen other masters that are limited to like um, like an environment or just safety or just occupational health. But this allows you to walk all through all the different fields and still have um, manage, managerial skills, you know, as, a, as an add-on. It allows you to understand a lot of engineering concepts which you require for your safety work. You know, so the technical depth for this project was, for this program was really rich. One of the most rewarding things for me, particularly in this semester, as we approach graduating our, our first uh, colleagues, is to see the change. Uh, we do have online classes where you're actually interacting with the, uh, the colleagues. And so I can see the change. I can see confidence. I can see new knowledge and probably the new knowledge they have and the confidence go together hand in hand. I can see maturity and growth in some of those students that just blew my mind. Um, I had some of them early for a couple of the first two or three courses and then later as they were doing their final projects. And to see them present those final projects with the knowledge and skills and the confidence that they had just was really, really rewarding for me. And all along the way, they're saying things like, hey, I did this at work. I tried this out at work. My supervisors, uh, my managers are really interested in how this will work out. Uh, there are little successes that they reported back uh, as the uh, program wore on as they took more and more courses and actually tried things at work. And of course that's rewarding for them as well as us to see that it actually is, uh, is making an impact in the field. This first graduating class has been truly remarkable. In fact, it has exceeded our wildest expectations. This group of individuals, as well as the dozens that are following behind them, truly inspire me with hope. Why? Because these individuals are transformational leaders that are committed to bridging the gaps between engineering and occupational safety and health and transforming safety in workplaces around the world.